Hey guys, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to take um, the full width menu, not full width, full screen menu and make that look cool. Okay, so uh, let's start with this right now. This is your standard full width menu and um, in this post there's a there's a post here about the full screen menu. It's called full screen menu. The full screen menu on my uh, on the blog uh, about how you can fix the um, X where it is, and that's already been sort of done, not quite yet. Uh, there's um, there's two things to doing that, and of course you can check the uh, what is it? You can check the this this blog post to to see how it's done, um, but basically it's editing the header PHP namely line uh, 129 and that's what I've been that's what I've done here uh, the only the only other thing that I need to do is copy and paste the CSS code which is right here right so that goes in here oh not here I guess oh that's I could actually put it there, but I'll just I'll just put it over um, in theme options. There we go. Um, wonder what this is for. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'll put this here and I'll save that. And of course, because because of the admin uh, menu, I could just disable it, but I'm just using um, the what is it incognito mode just so it's uh, easier to see. All right, there we go. So I like that. See, that's X stays there. Okay, now this screen here, this full screen here is sort of, you know, boring. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it not boring. <laughs> All right, now, uh, in order to do that, what we need to do is, of course, start with a uh, child theme. And of course, um, child themes are easy to make. And if, uh, there are lots of ways you can make your child themes. Um, I'll explain a couple ways in the post itself. And of course, you can find your, you can find a free child theme somewhere on my blog. Okay. Probably uh, here. There we go. You can take that. Okay. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to, we need, what we need is, well, let's go to functions PHP for the moment. Now, this is my child theme functions file. Um, it has a couple of tweaks that I always like to use. And um, the child theme that I offer here will also have those tweaks in it. Um, also, another thing that you could do is find the one where it says, um, I think it's, I think it's custom footer. Um, um, I think that's it. No, wait, wait. I do short code. Um, yeah, I think we can just do this. Yeah, uh, so it's the same method as this, where you can take a short code like that. Yep. Now we're going to do something like this. All right, like that. And what I normally do is I use um, a special snippet that I include in all my child themes, which is from here, and it's crediting uh, S.J. James. Uh, from DV space, I think. So from here all the way to here is what I always use. And that means that if I make a DV layout, I will actually get um, this short code, right? Now this is pretty much the same thing as this guy, all right? Uh, global module uh, section, pretty much the same thing, all right? Um, but it's just it's just easier to extract it. That's why it's here. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a layout. Okay, so add new. Um, let's add a section. You can actually add a layout if you wanted to, but uh, let's use a 
section. Okay. Uh, full screen menu. There we go. You know what? It actually should have been global. I would have liked it to be global. Oh well. Trash. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The reason why I would like it to be global is because um, we don't want to leave any um, doubt that it's properly synced. Okay, so full screen menu glo global. All right, there we go. So that's a section. What we're going to do is we're going to just we're going to take a section. Okay. Now, uh, to start off with, now you can style this any way you want, but um, some, some things that I've noticed is um, you don't want any background because, um, oops, I'm sorry, uh, because here you get uh, the background, right? So you want to keep this, or you can style this later, but at least, you know, later when we add the section, it's just going to be a whole a proper section and it's going to take up uh, space here all right so yeah um, let's add some columns like uh, three columns sure why not right uh, let's add a contact form sure why not yep and an image doesn't matter any kind of image really doesn't matter I don't care um, some I, I, I don't know search a search bar there we go let's let's do that yeah sure yeah let's add another row let's put make this the title now all this really doesn't matter because um, you are gonna be making this yourself you're going to be making this yourself, right? So it doesn't matter, but I just made it. All right, now, um, done. Cool. So let's go get that uh, short code. So that's it, number 58. And oops. So that's, that's not important anymore. Let's see if I don't need that. Um, okay, so in the header, uh, what we need to do is we're going to go all the way down to, and if you have edited 129, right now I kept everything on one line. So if you have done, if you've copy pasted, um, oops, if you copy pasted from the blog, you'll actually add two more lines. So you got to probably find, you know, where it is. Um, but anyways, so if we go all the way down, all right, now I'm going to keep the numbers as is, but um, we're, if we go down, um, you're going to find this guy. All right, full screen nav container. That's 184. So if you have added two more lines, it could be 186. It depends on how you've added it, but it's around 100, the early 180s or something, something like that. Now, from this PHP opening to this um, unordered list closing is essentially this whole thing okay and we're not going to use that what we're going to do is we're just going to oh by the way if you want to delete this it's very scary uh, so what I suggest doing is just making keeping an original all right and then renaming um, well renaming this as original so it won't WordPress won't use this and just keeping the header of PHP here and then we're going to edit this and if it blows up then just you know rename this the header then delete that and you can get it back okay so we'll delete all that gone okay uh, we're going to open PHP tag that's how you close a PHP tag and so we're going to type inside the PHP tag all right now um, echo do sh short code parentheses and uh, quotation marks not one I don't know quotation marks and of course you need a oops semicolon if without the semicolon the website blows up so you don't forget that um, and the short code goes in here so as long as it's um, it's like that green color there you're fine okay so you save that 
And what you will get is actually this thing. Look at that. Now, remember how I said um, you wanted to, you would most likely benefit from uh, making the background transparent? That's because if it's not transparent, you'll get like a white box here. Okay, so there you go. You can add whatever, whatever layout you want. Uh, just make sure it doesn't go way too long and you know and you can actually do this so have fun with that uh, if you want to make this responsive if you want to make sure you get more responsive behavior uh, of course this is a plug check out my um, responsive course um, there's I need more customer reviews I get I get perfect scores on the customer review so yeah check this out and um, if you need to learn more about Flexbox and responsiveness, do that. And otherwise, um, this is how you make a pretty awesome uh, full screen menu. Right, there we go. Cool. Oh yeah, by the way, if you wanna take this search out, um, it's up here um, under 129. Um, there's a search search thing here. Um, I'll, I'll leave a comment, I'll, leave a, I'll, I'll write it down in the blog post. Where which lines to take out in the, for the to take out the search bar here, um, but anyways, otherwise, um, there you go. So have fun with this, and maybe you can actually use the full screen menu in a much uh, more useful way than it was before. All right, okay. Um, I will see you in another video then. Okay. Oh, oh, you know what? I should actually talk about this. Sorry, um, I need to talk about this. Um, so. If you actually do want to keep the menu itself, now a lot of people, um, if you don't know how to add menus, then this this is you know what you know like. So um, I'll show you how to keep the original menu, and then um, you can actually um, move it or move the stuff around. So this will bring up the menu right so we'll leave that there we'll take that i'll take that and i'll put it where um here it is i'll put it in here right now a good way to take care of that is to give this a div class original menu or something like that all right and find that on order list, close that tag. And if you do that, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this original menu along with the layout, which means, see, there you go. So now you can style this, you can put this in its own column here and then push this to the side. And then that means you can actually have a workable uh, menu along with uh, maybe extra stuff every uh, you can do that okay or if you don't if you don't care you know just um, just delete that who cares uh, just add your own stuff you know how to add stuff into a section right so just do that that's easier anyways just uh, letting you know how that's done and if I were making this that's how I would have I would have done it and then I would have styled everything with CSS so uh, have fun with the full screen menu and I'll see you in another video all right bye bye